Hi, this is Yvonne on Mark's channel, Gardening with Yvonne. Just wanted to show all our viewers. Oh, hi, Mark. What are you doing? <laughs> I just want everyone to see what a brilliant gardener Mark is. Uh, we're growing watermelon, and the watermelon is getting pretty, you know, long, and we really don't want it growing out into um, our yard. Uh, so. Mark came up with this brilliant contraption. It probably looks funky to you, but we wanted it um, on YouTube so you can see this. And as it grows, as a watermelon grows, we're going to wrap it around like a little uh, <laughs> obstacle course uh, to try to keep it uh, confined. I have this wet cardboard here um, to try to keep the weeds at bay. We're going to be moving those um, water bottles. That's just to help us water. And basically what Mark did was we got these two tomato cages. There's one right over there. And then this is just an extra piece of I don't know what that he had uh, picked up somewhere and was saving it for something. He's real good at reusing, repurposing. And then I believe he tied the tomato cages to this and then added string. Now let me get a little closer so you can see how he wrapped it around because of watermelon are actually growing on this side and then they started sneaking through the chicken wire uh, we didn't want them growing in because we have we have to be able to get to all the um string beans and over here we have our cherry tomatoes don't they look great like a million of them and then another little string bean grown there and then our pumpkin way on the other side but coming back to here this is what Mark did, and the theory is, or the plan is, they're coming out here, and I'm wrapping them around, and they'll be going around each rung, um, and then as they grow longer, or each one, I've got like, how many, Mark, five plants? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, we've got two wrapped around there. We have one coming up over, and when that one's long enough, that will come over also. He put the, uh, the, the string there, it's pretty strong uh, string, uh, so they can climb in and out, and as they develop and get heavy, they can like hang from underneath. I'll put more rope. You put more rope. He'll put more rope. So that's great. I've also seen how you get like a like nylon hose that you wear or used to wear back in the day, and you can make a diaper out of it almost or a sling to hold the pumpkin up as it gets heavier. So um, this is what it looks like. And babe, I'm going to put probably a pole here. Ah, sort of support so that yeah. it doesn't collapse inward. Unless I put a T-bone here, like a dog leg from this one to this one. Right. But it might be easier just to drive it. Straight. Yeah, just for more support. So. All right, killer, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. So this uh, was just on the fly, just with whatever materials materials we had. Um, Mark's great at this, doing uh, repurposing things, using whatever he has on hand to make this work. And we will be keeping you apprised as to how it's growing and how this contraption is working out. Um, we both really feel strongly about reusing and repurposing items that would naturally go into the landfill. So um, thank you for your time. Thank you, Mark, for your brilliant um, contraption. <laughs> And thank you everyone for watching. Um, please feel free to comment so we know your thoughts. Um, thank you so much everyone. I want to give a shout out to all my family in Arizona. Hey everyone, I love you, miss you. Um, anyway, so please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good one. Yvonne signing out.